Here we go again with more nonsense from The Spew. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about The View yet again. This time, they are attacking Clarence Thomas because of the recent Supreme Court decision as it relates to Roe v. Wade. Now, there's a lot I want to unpack in this particular video. I've, I've only kind of skimmed through it, but I already know there's a lot I want to unpack, and I don't want to belabor the point too much longer. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you want to see this full video without my commentary, as always, the links will be in the description. You can also find this if you're on IG. Go to the link in the bio, find my website. It'll be the article right there. The video will be in the article. But you see the caption from Benny who says, unhinged, Whoopi Goldberg suggests Supreme Court will bring back slavery and break up Clarence Thomas's marriage to a, quote, white woman, unquote. Let's go ahead and check it out. I want people to have the lives they want, but I don't want to force anybody. I don't want anybody coming in my house telling me how to raise my daughter and what she needs because they don't know. Well, let's, let's, let's pause right there. Let's just pause for a minute. There are certain limitations to what you can and can't tell your daughter. Certain limitations. For example, I don't think you should be able to tell your daughter that it's okay to walk around the house with a bunch of men who are undressed. I'm talking about their stuff hanging out and whatnot. I don't think that's okay. I don't think it's okay to teach your daughter to be an extremist and go blow up government buildings. I don't think that's okay. There are certain times when parents abuse their children, mistreat their children, do the wrong things to their children, by their children. And you have CPS and whatnot that comes in to protect these kids. So yes, you should have some leeway to be able to parent your children. But at the same time, you can't just do whatever you want because at a certain point you're violating their rights and you could violate others rights at the same time. But let's go ahead and continue. Oh, and, and the last thing, you shouldn't be able to raise your daughter in a way to where you're giving the puberty blockers or hormone blockers at five, six, seven years old. I don't think that should be legal. And I think the government should step in to say, hey, don't do that. But let's keep on going. These, and, I, and I appreciate everybody's religion, but I do not subscribe to your religion. I don't ask you to subscribe to mine. And you do not have the right based on your religious beliefs to tell me because what's next as Clarence Thomas is signaling. Let's, let's pause for a minute before we get to that. What are you signaling? The people on, on the left, a lot of them will say, well, you're against abortion because you're Christian, you're conservative or whatever, whatever. Those two things don't always go together. I'm a conservative man, but I'm not religious at all. I'm not Christian or anything. I'm, a, I'm one of these spiritual. I'm, I'm one of those guys. I'm, I'm, I'm him. Oh, I'm spiritual. That's mean. You know, and that's just my belief. I have that prerog I have the prerogative to believe whatever I want. That's freedom as an American. I'm not beholden to a specific religion. Okay. And my pro-life view does not come from religion. It comes from science. As the left would say, it comes from science. I believe a baby is a baby at the point of conception. Because on the left, they'll tell you that a baby's not a baby until the baby draws breath. You can have a baby that's eight months gestation ready to go ahead and pop, but they'll say, oh, that ain't a baby. They ain't nothing but a fetus. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. They would like to get rid of contraception. Mm -hmm. Do you understand, sir? No, because you don't That's have to crazy. use it. I pause again. I'm sorry for all the pause. And again, if you want to see without my commentary, links in the box. But they're talking about Clarence Thomas would, um, like he, he would remove access to, con to contraception. That's not going to happen. Um, when they say contraception, what do they speak of? Are they talking about condoms? Are they talking about uh, non-aborted non patient plan B? And what I mean by that is a plan B should be taken to prevent conception, not to abort a baby. That's two different things. If you present, if you prevent conception, there is no life that happens at that point. But if you take a pill and the baby's already, the life is already conceived, the baby's developing, and then there's an abortion, then that's something different. If the baby dies as a result of a pill you take, that's abortifacient. But let's keep on going. 
But that's crazy. They don't have to use well, it. That is on insane. The menu now. Contraception's on the menu. Gay marriage is, well, is now hope probably going to be overturned. We weren't Affirmative in the action is we no were more. not in the Constitution either. Well, we were not even people he is in saying the Constitution. Nothing is pressing what, anymore. Well, so what they're talking about are some court cases, and I'll link to the cases in the description. But basically, you're talking about um, there's a case that involved contraception. There's a, I think, gay marriage, and I think there's one more case. But these cases aren't just so black and white. They're presenting them as such, but they're not so black and white. For example, contraception, what does that mean? Does it mean that you should be able to prescribe a 13-year-old birth control? You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about like the birth control pill. These pills have side effects. I'm thinking fibroids could be a side effect of birth control. I'm not saying it is. I'm no doctor. But I do see a link between birth control, fibroids, maybe even abortion, birth control, and fibroids coming together, especially in black women. Okay? We're talking about gay marriage. What does that mean? Does that mean that if you come to my bakery and force me to make a cake for your gay wedding, must I do it or I lose my business or I get locked up or I face a really big fine? You see what I'm saying? It's, it's never just the one thing on its surface. It's never just that. When you're talking about court cases, it's the precedent that it sets for other things. For example, Loving versus Virginia. They'll, they'll probably get to that in a moment. Loving versus Virginia is what struck down state laws against interracial marriage. Now, that particular case was cited when it came to same-sex marriage in 2013. You see how that goes? It's always one thing to do other things. It's never just that one thing by itself. When you're talking about uh, legislation and most certainly not judicial decisions, but I keep on moving here. You better but hope Clarence. that they don't come for you, Clarence, and say you should not be married to your wife oh. who happens to be white because they will move that. And you better hope That's that nobody right. says, you know, well, you're not in the constitution. You're back to being a quarter We're of back a person because that's not going to work either. You know well, so, okay, let's talk about these two things. The three fifths of a person that was, uh, for census purposes, let's, let's, let's go back a little bit to slavery time. So during slavery in many States, the number of slaves outnumbered whites, I think South Carolina, some States like that, the number of slaves outnumbered the whites in total, whether they be the slave master, field hands, whatever they were, the slave population outnumbered the white. But anyway, it would be unfair for a slave owner to buy a bunch of slaves and have them counted as population because that would give them the upper hand when they came to representatives. You see what I'm saying? Like right now in California where they lose the population, they're losing reps because the population does not call for that many reps. You see how that works? So you have less power with fewer people. That's the way it was back then. They would have too much power for all this this un unpaid forced labor. So the compromise was, okay, we'll count them as three-fifths of a person rather than one person to reduce your power that you have by all this unpaid forced labor. That's what that was. Okay, we're not going back to that. And also a whole thing about uh, interracial marriage, that can never go back to that either because uh, Love versus Virginia was based on 1924 law in Virginia that said that if you are classified as white and classified as colored, you couldn't get married to each other. But now with DNA and all that kind of stuff, that'd be challenged to, I mean, for example, Pocahontas, right? Elizabeth Warren, she would be classified as white technically, but then go to her uh, 23andMe, Ancestry.com or whatever the case may be, and you see 1,024th native. So does that make her native? Does it make her 100% white? Nobody would be classified as 100% one thing or the other. That would get thrown out right away. And it would only be, it would be the same thing as what's happening right now with abortion. It would go back to the states. So what state would even try to do something like that anyway, even if that was rescinded? And again, the reason why it would be rescinded, if it ever was rescinded, is because that particular Supreme Court decision, it it helps, it bolsters other things that it was not intended to help or bolster. You understand? As in gay marriage. We'll be right back. Oh, all right. Sorry, sorry. Oh. All right. So that's that's that. That's that's more from the view. But yeah, just 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 bogus nonsense. You know, they they attack things on the very surface level because they 
feel like their audience is pretty ignorant. You see, you you hearing them in in the audience clapping, the train seals clapping, because they think that the Roe v. Wade decision outlawed abortion nationwide, which it didn't. It brought it back to the states. If you're living in California, like they probably live in California, nothing changed at all. And as a matter of fact, they probably want to have abortion up until the point of birth with zero restrictions or pro- probably even after birth abortion, which does not make any sense. But they are doing things like that over on the left coast, California, Oregon, Washington State. But if you're living in Texas, Georgia, maybe even Florida, places like that, they don't have that. These women travel all over the world to get butt enhancement surgery, pay 10, 15, 20 grand on that, get botched, but they can't drive from St. Louis to East St. Louis to get an abortion for $200. I, I, as I close, I'm going to say this. Shows like The View and other things on television, uh, a lot of the politicians, they only give you the surface level information and don't go any deeper. And then they're able to deceive you that way. They're able to make you believe things that aren't true that way. Rather than just outright lying, they manipulate the facts and they curate in a way that makes you think a thing that's not true, which is the same thing as lying to me. But they can technically say they didn't lie. That's how they operate, always have, and always will. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what The View said here? Do you think they're right? you think they're wrong? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. Uh, you guys know where I'm at. They're nothing but agents of the left, of the Democratic Party, to try and get their particular objectives met, whether that be political, financial, whatever it is. That's all. Because what you heard there was not really the truth. It was a way to spin facts, omit certain facts, to make you believe a narrative that's simply not the case. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And as all I got to say for this video, if you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.